Gomo, and today I'll be showing you how to set up a Computercraft Energy Storage Monitor. All the credits go to John Paul Akala. He's the person who made this program, and I also apologize if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, I'm making this video just to show you guys how to set it up. So, first thing you're gonna need is an advanced computer. Here's a recipe for it, then an advanced monitor, networking cable, and wired modem. To start off, we're gonna place advanced monitors and create our screen for the redstone, uh, well, screen for the program. And make sure that the monitor is at least four blocks wide because otherwise uh, some letters, some text is not gonna be displayed properly. Okay, the next thing, we place down advanced computer behind the screen, it doesn't really matter where, as long as it's touching it. Then we're gonna take wired modem and place it on our energy storage. Uh, here you can see different types of energy storage cells. It doesn't really matter if you have uh, mic uh, if you have all three types or just one, it'll work in either way. So we place modems on the back. We connect them with the networking cable, and we connect all that with the advanced computer. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the wired modem. Here I accidentally did that already so they all turn red and you're, all, you're also gonna do that with the wired modem next to the computer okay so now we're gonna go and right click on the advanced computer and type paste bin get uh, capital T F E capital H and E 7 capital W Y and then space start up and press enter now type reboot enter and reboot again now the program is starting up it takes five seconds for it to refresh and then we click on monitors tab and we select back so now all the information is displayed on the back um, so here you can see that I have nine energy cells connected to the program and here it says how much energy storage is available and the flow rate which is currently zero because nothing is connected well no power is being used now to test that flow rate we're gonna connect uh, our energy storage to the laser drills and you're gonna see the flow rate display how much energy is being transferred to the laser gels. Okay, we're gonna go disconnect that. And now I'm gonna show you what happens when you start charging your energy cells. Now flow rate is displayed green and it's showing at how, uh, how fast the batteries are charging. Now if you want more detailed information about uh, energy cell, you can right click on the, on the bar that is representing that energy cell and it's going to show you exactly all the information about that cell. Now you right click again anywhere on the screen to close that window. If you have more than 9 cells, let's say 20, 30 or 50, it doesn't really matter how many you have. Uh, the rest of them will be displayed on, on the next page and the way you go to the next page is just by uh, moving your mouse over the next button and you right click right now there is nothing on the next screen well basically there, there's just one page and that's because we only have nine energy cells if we had more we would have more pages okay now next thing is Oh yeah, we can go and configure our computer to our liking, the program. So we right click on an advanced monitor, we c hold Control and T to terminate the program, and we type edit power-conf, and then we press enter. And here we can see settings uh, that we can change to 
to our liking. So first is tick delay. One second is 20 ticks, so that makes it five seconds. And that means that the monitor is refreshing its information every five seconds. You can change that to whatever number you want. I would recommend having it at least above 50. Then the next thing is green zone and yellow zone. So here you can see that some bars are green, some are yellow. And so this is what this green yellow zone thing is. So if the energy uh, energy level in the in the cell is above 70 percent, the letters will be displayed in green color. If the levels are below 70 percent, in between 70 and 30 percent, then the letters will be displayed in yellow color and if the levels are below 30% then they will be displayed in red color. Then we have no normal power threshold and low power threshold. <coughs> so the low power threshold it, it is set on 10% so that means when power drops below 10% uh, in our entire energy storage system the computer is gonna dis uh, emit the redstone signal on the bottom. So you can use that to automate your uh, electricity generation for example you can have it so when the power drops below 10% it uh, the computer activates a fusion reactor and then all your cells start filling up and when the total storage reaches above 90% it'll s stop emitting the signal on the bottom so that's pretty much what that is you can change it to any number that you want as long as it's within those 100%. Okay, now we press control and E for exit once we change the settings to our liking and we type reboot. So that's gonna restart the program with our settings. Now there's one more thing that you can do. Here on the screen you can see that it says no name set. You can change that uh, by right clicking on the computer, hold control and T to terminate the program and then type label set energy storage monitor or whatever you want to call it and now reboot now the name changed and yeah so this is pretty much it make sure to go check John's website link is in the video description as well as the pastebin code link and don't forget to thank him for the effort he put into making this program. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask John directly or in the YouTube comments section. Goodbye and thanks for watching.